It's about 6.45 a.m. and I'm about to start my 96 hour call shift. Let's go. Step one. Step two. And of course, big compression socks. A necessity. Let's not forget, procedure shoes. Much better. Do I look good in these or what? And let's not forget, both of these guys. Let's go. It is currently about 4 p.m. Done a whole bunch of cases this morning and keep doing consults through the ER that won't allow me to leave the hospital today. Then we have another emergent case to do right now from the floor, my ICU patients. Another embolization after that. So hopefully I'll get out of here at some point tonight and be able to eat dinner or something like that. So the best thing about working a long holiday weekend is that I happen to have the best wife in the world who brings me dinner when I have to stay late for an overnight case. Hey hon. guys so it is now 8 30 p.m i'm still at the hospital i've been so busy i haven't even mentioned that this is day two of my 96 hour call or four days of call for my holiday weekend so one of the reasons i'm so tired is last night or friday night i was called in the middle of the night for a patient that was bleeding we did imaging showed bleeding they called us to embolize something. We ended up setting the whole thing up. And then, so I was up pretty much the entire night setting this up and dealing with it. I got a few hours of sleep, came into the hospital extra early. And as I was walking in the hospital, the team called me and canceled the procedure. So that was fun. So I was up all night on Friday night slash Saturday morning, got to the hospital this morning, which is Saturday morning. I've been here doing cases all day long, seeing consults, seeing ER patients, and now we have a patient also bleeding tonight, and it is now 8.30. We plan on embolizing this patient or attempting to embolize this patient tonight. Then I get to go home. Tomorrow morning we have a pretty much a full day, full schedule. I'll be back here bright and early, so if I get called in tonight, it pretty much screws up the whole day tomorrow. Also, so as you can tell, I probably have the best wife in history. So since tonight I'm on call, or this whole weekend I'm on call, and tomorrow happens to be our one year wedding anniversary, we decided to celebrate it tonight, sort of, together at the hospital. But, and yeah, so now I'm well fed, ready to do this case. Hopefully it doesn't last that long. I can get out of here and get some sleep. Time to get to work. All right, so it is 11.45. Just now leaving the hospital. Got here at about 6.30-ish a.m. 
I'm leaving at 11. It's a pretty long day for a Saturday, if I do say so myself. Have a case scheduled first thing in the morning, so I'll be back here after a few hours of sleep. Tomorrow is Sunday. See you in the morning. And good morning. It is day three. We're exactly 48 hours into our 96 hour call shift. Heading back to the hospital. Got a good six hours of sleep last night. Plus, I don't know, pretty tired. Two more days to go, halfway. We have an early case uh, starting at eight today. Another case following that. Um, a little tired today, but still hanging in there. Nothing a little coffee can't fix. So off we go. All right, so just finished seeing all these patients, procedures, all this stuff. It's about 3 p.m. Just wanted to check in again. I have to go consent a few patients to get them teed up for tomorrow. We're going to come in on this Monday holiday and do some cases. So that's that. I'm going to go consent these patients. Make sure we don't have any other procedures to do tonight and we'll get back at this tomorrow. And forgot to mention the main thing is today is my anniversary and I would like to spend a little time with the old wife. That'd be kind of nice, but such is the life of a resident. Honestly, I can't believe it, but I'm actually leaving in the daytime. The sun feels amazing. All right, so I got all of my consult orders in. I did all my notes, finished all of our procedures, got everything teed up for tomorrow. Now I'm going home while it's still daylight, probably take a nap and hopefully not get called in. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we are back at the hospital this Monday morning, holiday Monday. I uh, didn't get called in last night, well, I got called last night and woken up, but I didn't get called in for any emergent procedures, which is fantastic. So I got a little sleep, not really uninterrupted, but whatever. Um, back at the hospital now, we have to do probably three or four cases today that we scheduled from yesterday. And also you noticed that I shaved overnight, so I did have a few hours to myself yesterday. So that's good. All right, off to start the day. This thing won't shut up. Check in with you in a little bit. So when I first get here, the first thing I do is look at all the consoles for overnight and I triage which ones I think are important or emergent and all of the ones that have to go today. After I do that, I'll call the teams back about non-urgent consults, see if we can either add them onto the schedule today or work them up for tomorrow. But today's a holiday and it's my fourth day on call. So we're only doing emergent cases today because we have a skeleton crew, just me, the attending, and two, no, me, the attending, a tech, and a nurse. There's always backup people, but we don't call them in unless stuff starts hitting the fan. So after I do that, I try to jump in cases intermittently that are going throughout the day. Then I'll respond to pages when I get out of the case or go see patients between cases or whatnot. So basically my priorities are see and work up patients organize patients coming down here with the primary teams, figure out what exactly they want, do procedures, make sure patients are doing well after their procedures, and also get patients worked up for tomorrow. So that when our primary team, our full team comes in tomorrow, which is Tuesday morning, after a holiday, we're not completely slammed and behind like 30 patients. It probably will be, but I'll try my best to try to help them out for tomorrow. So I still have a few more cases to do today. Still have to see a few more patients. And then hopefully I'll get everything ready for tomorrow's rounds in the morning at 7 a.m. And we should be good to go home. And I won't get called in tonight because I don't know if I can handle another night of no sleep. So let's see how it goes. So it is now about 11 o'clock seen all my consults, have a few more procedures to do today. Hopefully tonight will go well. I can come in and do a nice easy uh, recovery unit shift tomorrow. So usually post-call weekends or post-call days we'll do 
we'll just do consents in the pre-procedural and post-procedural workup area. That way I'm not on my feet another day for 12 hours wearing lead and all that stuff. So apparently we have one more case. Ice U never stops. Neither do we. And just like that, we are done. And we made it. It's about 6.30 right now. Leaving the hospital in daylight hours, which is absolutely amazing. People are yelling in the background, I have no idea why. And yeah, we're almost there. Keep in mind I have to make it till 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, to complete my 96 hour call extravaganza. So if I don't get called in tonight, then I will get to sleep well and go in at normal time tomorrow. So on that note, if you like these videos, Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I post some pretty cool stuff over there sometimes. Otherwise, I'll see you guys. If I don't come in tomorrow, I'll see you guys on the next video.